for whistleblowers, you always have this crisis of conscience moment, which means that you would not be able to live with yourself if you didn't do this. So you have to do it regardless of the consequences. And that's what it was for me. I like to describe the feeling that it was like jumping off a cliff without a parachute or not knowing if you have one that works and just hoping for the best. And that's kind of what it is when you take that leap of faith. But the crisis of conscience basically means you have to continue because you just believe so much in it that it is your truth and you hope that it is other people's truth as well. You don't find out until you start doing things like this and like the INC, how many other people are on your side and how many other people feel so strongly about it. And I think more and more we're finding incredible people from all around the country that do feel really strongly about this. And that's the opportunity in this because it's brave for everyone to decide to do that and not just conform to the structure that exists. And we should just recognize that it's a leap of faith for a lot of people. Some people, it's a way of life and they've been doing this their entire life. Some people it's new and they're trying to find a home for their political energy and political action. So the more that we can build that home and make it welcoming and safe and exciting and somewhere where people can be successful, then, you know, then it's going to work.